Hello all. This is YouTube video update for September 17th, 2016. I have to honestly say that I have not watched any kind of politics for about three weeks. It has become so bo <coughs> me. boring that I can't watch any politics. It is it has become so stupid. I can't even Hillary is I'm just finding out that Hillary has supposedly come down with pneumonia and that uh, it took her a day and a half to get healthy. I don't think so. And I mean it in factual form. You cannot get pneumonia for only one or two days, maybe even three, and then she miraculously come back to health. Okay, my mother just got over having pneumonia. It took her a week to get over it. So come on already. And then now claiming that Donald Trump is a psycho and is and he's a narcissist. I want actual proof that he's an, that he's a psychopath and narcissist for a guy who is employing more people than the government is. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, come on already. People in the liberal media are claiming that he's psycho and a narcissist. Give evidence of it if you're going to say that. I mean, come on already. Uh, this thing with... This black guy in the media who's protesting, more power to him. I wish there were more like him. Black, white, Chinese, whatever it is. I wish there were more like him because that's exactly what you need right now. You need someone to actually protest. Now all of a sudden they're saying, there's a time and a place for it and you got to have to do it another way. Excuse me, when you're protesting, it's a protest. You don't need, any, you don't need anyone's permission on when to do it on, and how to do it. Protesting is protesting. When the country is is getting stupid by the day, and when things aren't going right, when laws are made by criminals who are protecting the criminals, there is no other way to protest other than doing it during its own music. At the point of protesting, you're displaying your dissatisfaction to a country that is extremely corrupt. Okay, you can't say, well, do it, do it silent during another thing. You can. That is the point of protesting. You're doing it during its moment of an ego celebration. Okay? Why do you think they have Guy Fawkes Day over in England and other European countries? Because a guy who displayed a dissatisfaction of the way the government was going. Okay? That, I mean, the guy's not causing any destruction. The guy's not causing any harm. He's displaying dissatisfaction. Now, all of a sudden, the political fanatics and the liberals are bitching. You have to do it another way because that way is offensive. Well, damn it. Just because your ego is thicker than reality. No, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Reality is reality. Just because your ego is thicker than your brains doesn't mean that someone else is displaying it the wrong way. Just because you don't approve of it doesn't make it inaccurate. Okay? Come on, Array. This is why I say Americans are stupid. Unless you got brains and you use them 24-7, you're fine. But the general population and its majority are stupid. The only ones who aren't stupid are the prodigies. So, I mean, come on already. I wish there were more like this guy because then you'd actually get somewhere instead of just saying, well, we need to lower taxes and we need to do this and we need to do that. We need to control immigration. Well, if you really, really, really wanted to control immigration, you would have done it over 25 years ago. A lot of things during this election are used as nothing but a slogan. It's empty words. 
but you won't get any political fanatic to admit that. They just rather say, well, we thought he was telling the truth. Yeah, okay. Meantime, you take a typical American and they'll smell a pedophile and a sex offender a block away. Yeah, okay. I don't want to pay for his income. Don't. Don't pay his income. Don't just sit there and bitch about it on TV when a stupid liberal reporter gives you five minutes of TV time. Don't pay his income. If there's a sex offender in the neighborhood, don't let him there. Make life hell for him. Yes, it is a sickness, but make like hell for him and make like hell for the government. Don't just say it, do it. The same way this guy is protesting, he's actually putting his words to action. Oh, but no political fanatic and no liberal likes the way he's doing it. Tough shit! At least he's doing something with his words. Come on already. Good grief. And again, this bitch Hillary is ha been, has not been sick. Okay, it took my mother a week and a half to get rid of pneumonia. And she was bed she was in bed the whole time. Okay, she was on nebulizers because the mucus in her in her lung was so thick she couldn't cough it up. Oh God forbid uh Hillary should have a a uh, an aneurysm on stage over oh, son now she, you can't ask her questions about Benghazi. You can't ask her questions about her email because God forbid the bitch has a heart attack on stage. Oh my God. So you might as well limit her questions so she can get into office easier. Even though she's going to be inaugurated in, in January of 2017. Come on already. And they're still bitching about this war thing. The only way Mexico is going to pay for a wall is if they want to keep the U.S. out. They'll build their own wall, but they're not going to pay some for someone else's wall. As much as a good idea as it is, they're not going to pay for his wall. So, I mean, even though the election is set up, Donald Trump would be a more of a president than Hillary is, because Hillary doesn't care about anyone but her own ego. So, uh, let's see, what else? The email scandal will never be solved. It will just be talked about. It won't be fixed. So, and now all of a sudden she's saying, oh, well, stop bringing it up. I'm getting bored. The liberals are getting bored. Yeah, because the liberals are defending Hillary. That's the only reason why they're saying the email thing is getting boring. But I guarantee you one thing. If the liberals vote Hillary in in 2017, which I know they will, but I'm just saying in factual term, if they do, there will be 250 Americans in this country who are responsible for the death of four men. They will be part of, the resp uh, of being responsible for it. So you got 250 liberals who condone the death of four white men. Which makes me have the mentality of adding three more layers to my anti-American frame of mind, even three times more, and now I will have less respect for people in this country if they do vote her in. That's the, that's the reality of it. I don't say that as in hot air. I don't say it as in words to say like, like a politician does during an election. There will be 250 million people who are going to be responsible for, for the death of four men. So the next one who bitches about China being communist, one stupid American better know what the fuck they're talking about. So, and I've also talked to a lot of people. There are more and more people were not knowing about politics than they were before, and quite frankly, I don't blame them because none of them even watch politics. They find it boring. They find it completely uh, useless. They're too busy trying to gain money to pay their taxes. They're not busy uh, doing other things to get by. So, they're not paying it to any politics. I have a friend from church 
who doesn't even have TV. Quite frankly, I don't blame him. I'm getting to the point where I don't even want to watch Fox News anymore. So, but in any case, uh, what, else, what else is there to talk about? Other than the email scandal, Benghazi, we took care of that. Donald Trump being accused by a psychopath, but being accused of being be accused of being a psychopath, we already took care of that. Hillary's stupid sickness shit. <laughs> uh, the protest thing. The protest thing really makes me laugh. You gotta think about another way to do it. Yeah, okay. In, th in today's day and age, no one listens to you until you do something dramatic. Now all of a sudden, Greg Gutfeld is claiming that the guy wants TV attention. Meantime, the five idiots on the five are giving him the attention. All the liberals are bitching about him wanting fame, but yet they're giving it to him. Figure that one out. So, it... The whole thing is just plain moronic. Now all of a sudden you have to walk on eggs. Am I doing this right? Am I doing that right? Am I doing the other thing right? It's getting stupid. I know I haven't been on in a month. That's because things have been too boring. So that's pretty much why. So, in any case. I get, we'll go on to anti-social media part two.